That's all I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, it sounded okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, welcome to Hit. <laughs> guys, welcome to Coffee with Candice, where I talk about all things coffee, cute, and fun for your everyday life. Today, we're going to be reviewing two new Nespresso pods that they've released for the holiday season. We have Chocolate Fudge and Peppermint Pinwheel. And as you can see, I have Rob here again by High Demand Blindfolded. So we're going to tell you how these taste and if they're worth buying. Okay, first up, we have Chocolate Fudge. And this is what the pod looks like. It's pretty cute. It kind of looks like a little chocolate truffle. And to just give you a little bit of background on how this pod should taste, I have my iPad here again. I'm on the Nespresso app, reading through their description. So this is a barista creation. So these are meant to be uh, brewed with milk, milk or half and half, whatever you prefer. Um, it is a chocolate flavored coffee and has soft biscuit notes. So it sounds pretty good, and we're gonna get to that in a little bit. The next one that we have is Peppermint Pinwheel. So before I do get into this one, the chocolate fudge is actually a permanent flavor now. Peppermint Pinwheel is a limited edition flavor. And this is what it looks like. Do you like the look of this one, Rob? I love it. <laughs> this one says um, candied and sweet, Peppermint flavor. Can I feel it? Yeah, sure. All right. Um, let's see. It says insider tip with a touch of milk, the lingering notes of peppermint soften down to achieve a well balanced milky cup. That sounds pretty good because I'm not a huge fan of peppermint drinks, so that gives me some hope here. I'm gonna brew one of these first. Let's mix them up. And I'm gonna have Rob taste it, and I'm gonna taste it as well but I won't be blindfolded, so I'll know which one it is. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do okay. it. Okay. While yes. she's brewing, I wanted to just kind of explain, obviously it's silly for me to be blindfolded, we're fully aware of that, but uh, we thought it would be more fun. Specifically, we wanted to see if there's gonna be some different notes and flavors that I can pick out versus her. We do have some minor differences in how we like coffee. I like more bolder and stronger tasting coffees, and she likes more um, watered down what? pea flavored coffees. That's not true. I like um, sweet, sweeter coffee, but not too sweet. <laughs> she likes sweeter coffees. And you know, the biggest part about this is obviously it should be pretty easy for me to distinguish between the two. It's only two, so I got a 50 50 shot of getting this right. Obviously for you guys, if I get it wrong, that's probably a good indication of, or if they taste too similarly, it's probably a good indication of maybe they're not Nespresso's best flavor. So we'll see. Should be pretty easy to taste. Hopefully each taste is unique and we'll take it from there. Did you tell them the three pro, it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I was basing it off of the sound and I thought maybe it was, okay. So if you guys watched our last video on the Nespresso holiday flavors that we rated, we had three different categories that we base this off of. We're gonna link that above too if you wanna check that out, if you haven't yet. But the three categories that we're gonna go off of here, aroma, taste, and sweetness. So we're gonna rate them one to a five to give you a better idea of how these actually are. So, are you ready to start? I'm ready. Let's okay, do cool. this. Okay, cool. Can you smell it? Your nose is, you're good, right? <laughs> yeah, no, okay. it's a, it's a it's a big so. blindfold, but I can, I can smell. Let's okay, see. cool. <laughs> Do you want to go first? I didn't know. I thought I thought I was automatically first. No, you go first. You okay. Go first. Go. Um, aroma. I'm gonna give this one. I don't like it. It smells more like. Yeah, really. I honestly. It's kind of remind me again if you watched our holiday video um, or the holiday flavor video. It kind of reminds me of the pecan biscotti where it doesn't really have a distinct smell. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say what this flavor is either because- Not true. Not I'm not true. done. It's not true, here's the reason why. Because it's a slight cocoa. It's a, it's a hint of cocoa, that's what I mean. It's nothing strong, it's nothing potent, but I'm getting the hint of cocoa. Interesting, because I'm not. Well, where would you rate it? I give it a one. I, I don't enjoy the smell of this. 
So smell for me is going to be, I'd give it maybe like a, a three or maybe, I'll round up, I'll be nice, four out of five. I think it's nice, I don't think it's anything overpowering and again, this is a flavor that's here to stay so I could picture um, me smelling this, you know, Monday through Friday, <laughs> you know? Perfect. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's move on to taste. So we're actually gonna try it first without any half and half in it. I know this is a barista creation one, which they're better with half and half or milk. So we'll give you two different ratings on the taste as well. Ready? Let's do it. All right. I'll let you kick it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to like- Hang on. Five, oh. Whew. Do you need a straw? Well, it's challenging. But you did it. I did it. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think it's terrible, but again, for the flavor that it is, it, it does not taste like it. it. Should, I think. But that's just my opinion. But again, it's not terrible. I would probably rate it like a three. So based on my taste, and let me taste it again. It's pretty good. Again, I'm getting a very subtle, almost like hot chocolatey, um, feel to it and again very I wish very I was so. getting that yeah because I'm not and I love hot chocolate it's not bad it's actually pretty good I would say I'm gonna give it a four out of five uh, again nothing too sweet to the point where I can't picture myself drinking it every single day this is nice it's got a good flavor to it I could probably brew this again Monday you know, through Friday <laughs> Monday through Friday a strict everyday kind of start your day coffee well let's give it another taste now with half and half in it um, if you could so kindly pass me the spoon to your left. Give me a minute. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. Um, and again, if you guys didn't see my last video, I had some holiday gift ideas for coffee lovers. This was one of them. It's a cute little coffee spoon. Again, not sure if this is focusing well. Um, but it says Rob's Coffee Spoon and it has a little coffee like emoji under it. Very cute idea. But we're gonna use this to stir our coffees, okay? Sounds <laughs> good. All right, let's do it. All right, your turn. Any difference for you, or? Um, I'll give my review after. Why? Because I want to. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Yep. Okay. I like it. Go for it. Okay, thank you. It's not bad. Now I can kind of taste a little bit of like a cocoa note to it, but nothing strong in like. I love chocolate and I would not consider this like a chocolate fudge coffee, but it's not yeah. bad, um, but it's not great. I do like it better actually with the half and half, so I'll round it up to a, a 3.5. Don't wanna go too high. Dang. I, well, it doesn't, I like You a couldn't even lover. round up to a four. No, huh? because that's like on a scale of like, you know, terrible okay. to great. That's like good and it's like meh. Okay, okay. I mean, I when I took a sip with it, again, it kind of reconfirmed what I originally said. Kind of gives me that hot cocoa vibe. Nothing super strong. Um, nice finish, not too bitter. Yeah, I like this, I like this. If you put some sugar in it, I could definitely see it tasting um, much better. And then on top of that, if you want to get crazy, you could throw some chocolate syrup in there and call it a day. Okay. But I like it. So do you like it better with half and half or without anything in it? You know, it's a good question. Difference? I was actually surprised how much I like the coffee black. Yeah. Um, it, again, I thought maybe you'll feel completely differently. And maybe I'll feel completely differently since I won't be blindfolded <laughs> when I'm drinking the coffee. But it seemed like the chocolate flavor was just strong enough for me to taste it. Even when it was black. And then when you added the milk, it really kind of drove home the... Um, that hot chocolate uh, feel to it, which is kind of nice. Okay, so now let's rate the scale one to five of sweetness. I would say it's it's a nice balance right down the middle. So 2.5, I give three. it a two. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very sweet. Okay, so now we have peppermint pinwheel and I just brewed it on the other side of the kitchen. And to be honest, I actually enjoyed the smell of it. Like Rob was saying, I don't really like peppermint drinks, but I'm willing to give this one a try. You want to smell yours and tell me what you think? Sure. This is pretty legit. It smells good. This is actually really, really good. I mean, no secret here, it smells, it reeks of peppermint, but in a really good way. Yeah, not like too strong though. 
not not too strong. It's just like a pure peppermint flavor. The second you brought it over too, I smelt it. And in fact, yeah. even as it was brewing, and just so you guys know, it's probably only like three <laughs> feet away. But even from that distance too, I was sm I, I could easily smell uh, just how pepperminty it was, and it's it's good. It smells really good. Aroma, I'm gonna give this a five. I actually really do enjoy it. What about you? Hard five. Cool. Okay, let's give it a taste. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure <laughs> we can drink done. at the same time. We'll just give our reviews separately. Okay. Okay. We could do that. I feel like I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> we'll be here on. Hang on. I mean, if you need to, on um, my spin on this board. chair. Yeah. These no, no, but I mean, like, am I in my center again? I feel yeah. like I'm. I'm yeah, I feel fine. like I'm like slowly <laughs> spinning <laughs> off here. I'm right. gonna strap you in for this <laughs> review. <laughs> okay. You have no idea how hard it is to drink with this thing on. I feel like I'm getting equal parts fuzz to coffee. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me a review. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted you to. Drink you just it wanted me to drink go. it. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Now I gotta sit on it. All yep. right, cool. Think about it taste and again i do not like peppermint flavored uh food drinks i'm gonna give this a four it really is not a strong peppermint flavor pretty subtle i enjoyed it go ahead rob honestly when i first tasted mm -hmm. it um i didn't get much out of it really i'm not sure if i just didn't get a good sip so i'm gonna go ahead and, and give it another try uh and then i'll let you know Give me a sec, this is, a, this is a process. Okay, I got a much better taste this time around. It's good. We're doing, what, taste? I'm gonna give it a four out of five, easily. I really, really like the taste of this. Again, nothing too overly sweet. All right, you ready to try it with half and half now? Uh, sure am. <laughs> <laughs> so again, on the app, it said that um, it should be a little bit even better, was the impression I was getting, so. Let's see. Did you put some in? Nope. You're gonna put some <laughs> I in? Did, I did, I did. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? <sighs> yeah, am I going, am I up first? We can go together. I just drank mine, but. Oh. Last time you wanted me to, be, you keep changing the rules. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm still gonna give it a four. I don't think you really changed it that much. That's just my opinion. Rob? Um, yeah. That's very professional. Thank you. Yeah, honestly, I didn't get any big change out of this. Kind of disappointing because I was wondering like if it's going to amplify it or something, but it's pretty consistent. So the way I see it, the way it tasted black is pretty much very similar as to um, the flavors I was getting when we put creamer in it. I'm going to give it a uh, four. Cool. Without a doubt. Really, really great taste black or with milk. Sweetness. I'm gonna give this a one, it's not very sweet. What about you? Sweetness, yeah, no, I'm gonna give it maybe, yeah, honestly, I'd go with one. I didn't, again, not super sweet, not super strong, but it's just there and it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Nice flavor. Very nice flavor. <laughs> so overall, I like these two flavors way better than the holiday flavors this year. I thought the holiday flavors were Kind of disappointing. Agreed. Even though I liked the Amaretti, um, hated the Pecan Biscotti, the only one that I really thought was pretty awesome was the Il Cafe. Yeah, and that one was good. Do um, you want me to take your blindfold off? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. It's a painful transition. Okay. Okay, so overall, um, I would have to agree with you. I do like these better than the holiday flavors that previously came out this year. Um, not a huge fan of the chocolate fudge one. Again, I was expecting it to be super like chocolatey. I don't know. I was a little disappointed with that one. Again, it wasn't bad, but it's definitely not for like a chocolate lover unless you dress it up. Um, peppermint pinwheel, surprisingly, really enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend buying a sleeve of these. Buy a sleeve of both. I think they're definitely more worth it than the holiday flavors, 1000%. Yeah. Really enjoyed the chocolate, even though I know it wasn't chocolatey it enough. And the peppermint was really good. So yeah. again, these are daily drinkers as far as I'm concerned. So better bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. I would recommend getting more than 
just one sleep get a couple you probably like oh yeah the peppermint pinwheel again like we said is the limited edition so they're not going to be bringing that back once it's done so we definitely need to get some more of those yeah we'll be placing an order yeah soon. yeah Real espresso soon. if you want to send us some um, we're cool with that well anyways <laughs> I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did or if you end up placing an order after watching this be sure to give our video a like subscribe to the channel and oh my god why well, can't I remember this part don't subscribe Life's, to the channel stop nope I got it don't subscribe Life's, well we hope you guys found this video helpful and if you enjoyed watching it or you end up buying a sleeve of one of these flavors definitely give our video a like so we know and subscribe to our channel <laughs> for those of you watching I must have been maybe 10 or 15 minutes of this. Please. 10 or 15 minutes. Well, we hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you enjoyed watching or you end up purchasing a sleeve of one of these flavors, be sure to give our video a like so that we know. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys again soon. Bye.